Hey everybody. This week we're going to talk about making websites using card. If you ever find yourself ready to make a website because you feel like you're ready to list things like your specific services, your rates, the type of people that you serve, but you're not quite sure where to start, I highly, highly, highly recommend using card. Now card with a double R is so much better, I think, than other websites like Squarespace or Wix. And that's because those kind of websites are expensive. Uh, they're very expensive to run. They'll cost you a monthly fee to, to actually make the website and then they'll cost you another fee, usually an annual fee to have that tied to your domain. Um, and I find those to be very pricey and I also find them to be a little more maintenance heavy than what I think a lot of people need, which is essentially a very cool, good looking, easy to build landing page. So that's where card comes in. If you're not familiar with card, card is actually, I think just two or three years old. Um, but the best thing about card is hands down the price. So let's start with what card is, and then we'll talk about what it isn't. What it is, is basically a really simple landing page, uh, where you can take tons of templates or build your own. And I'll show you how to do both. It's super simple. Um, they are, Basically, you could knock out a whole website in 10 minutes or less. I can't think of any better way to spend your time rather than wrestling with code on Squarespace. You can just knock this out and be done with it. Um, best thing for sure is the price. It's $19 a year. And this is the exact plan that I subscribe to as well. So if you've ever gone to my website, erinbooth.com, you'll see my card website. I pay less than $20 a year to maintain this thing. And somehow, unbeknownst to me, there's such good SEO, that search engine optimization through card that tons of people have been discovering my website, which is great. So let's go to card real quick and I wanna show you how to build your own website. Oh, back up. I wanna talk about what card isn't. Card isn't a viable option for you if you're somebody who wants to have things like a blog. Card does not support the even option to add a blog. So if you're somebody who wants to get a little more into writing or have resources for clients or blogs that they can read about your VA business or your just, you know, blogs, <laughs> they don't work. So here's my landing page, which is basically a scrolling landing page. People come to my website, that's erinbooth.com. And when a client or another VA hits my website, it's a scrolling page. So you just, it's a one scroll thing. Um, here's my, my page, which you saw on the other one. Uh, you can see my VA Academy there. People can sign up for my email list. And this links to my uh, individual Udemy courses. And then I have a, a let's chat email. This email goes right to my inbox. So super simple. I can still click out to my social media channels so that people can check out my social media. Uh, I can still through card link to different websites. So if you click this learn more, it goes right to my VA Academy. Um, like I said, it's simple, but there's nowhere for me to list things like a blog, uh, post native videos right to the site. So maybe you're big into YouTube or you like to share tips for your business. Can't really share those here that easily. Let's go ahead and look at how to actually build something. So when you sign up for card, which is free, you enter your email, you create a password, you're going to click, click on new site. And then from here, we can actually pick a template and they have tons and tons and tons of templates. I love their templates. Here's mine. Why reinvent the wheel when a designer has already thought through this process for you? That's my opinion on it anyway. You might notice a couple of these templates have pro. Pro is the $19 a year. So if you don't see a pro, by the way, like this site has no pro. You could make this site for free. So yes, it is totally possible to have a free website. I like the pro because it allows me to change the URL. So I do have my name.com, um, but the decision is up to you. Of course, you have more choices under pro for templates, but check it out. You might find one that you like for free completely. So when you do find one that you like and you think you want to use, um, you can click demo that will just open a new screen and show you 
what the intended template looks like, kind of gives you a basis for what your website could look like. Okay, I like this template. We can do your profile picture here. We've got your name nice and big. We can add a one to two sentence kind of tagline. What it is that you do, what kind of virtual assistant are you, what kind of niche do you specialize in, if any, you don't have to specialize in something. And most importantly, who do you serve? Who are your clients? Having, in fact, having a tagline like that right at the header of your website could be a great way to both attract the clients that you're looking for and weed out the people that are a bad fit. So already, I'm loving this website. Uh, let's see what else. The template comes with a couple simple things. We could edit services up here. We could go a little deeper under your services. Looks like we can click out into those. All right, I'm liking this one a lot. So let's go ahead and start editing this one together. And this is as simple as the editing gets. So you can choose to add more things, delete more things, but let's just keep this simple. We want to add our image. So let's just start from the top and work our way down. All you're going to do is click on this element. Everything that is in a green box, by the way, is called an element on card. And you're going to click upload to upload your own photo. All right, I've got my photo. This is me on Mardi Gras. Please, 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 by the way, if you are doing a website, don't use a photo like this. I just don't have that many photos of myself on my laptop right now. <laughs> but if you're keeping it professional, use a nice headshot, usually something forward thinking that's well lit, shows your face. Um, don't make a face like I'm making right now. You could also skip the profile altogether. If you have a logo, you can also do that here too, but keep it professional. Um, if you have a LinkedIn profile, chances are the profile photo there is also going to be a good photo for you here. Anyway, do as I say and not as I do. So we've got that uploaded. Um, that's basically it. You can add alt text here. I do like to add alternative text. It's for, as you can see in old example, uh, it's for people who are uh, seeing impaired. Uh, it also helps search engines crawl different websites. So um, don't overload it with keywords, but you could certainly add an alt text like uh, virtual assistant uh, Aaron at Mardi Gras. Okay, next we're going to click on the next element. This is text and we're going to type probably our, our name here. You'll see there's a couple, in fact, let me move this. You'll see there's a couple items over here. So it's a simple form of coding. Do not be overwhelmed. If I wanted to bold this text, it shows you under here exactly how to do that. So I would add two symbols like so. And as you can see, it bolds my text automatically. I can also italicize. Uh, uh, what else can we do? We can underline, we can do a strike through. Anyway, bold and italicize are typically the things that you're going to want to do for a title. Or if you want to keep it simple, go ahead and keep it simple. You don't have to add any of the following features if you don't want to. But I do want to uh, show you, so up here with, under the little A, this is your style. This is your, this is just the straightforward styling. This is where we type all of the content in. This is how to change the look of the text. Um, but we also can change the appearance just slightly. Under the paintbrush, think of this as your editing tool. This is where we could change the color of the text. So if you've already got brand colors that you're using, this could be where you add some of those features. Uh, clicking back on the element now, uh, we can also change the size. Really, really simple editor, but it makes a big impact. So here are just a couple things that we can do. Uh, you can also change the font. Don't do what I'm doing right now. This is my second do as I say, not as I do, and waste your time picking one million fonts because what you don't want to be doing is spending four hours picking the perfect font for your name when you could be spending it working on client stuff. When you're done editing, click the done button and you'll see that that editor bar goes away. And, and really it's the same from here on out. So whatever you click on, we're gonna go back to the A. That's where we're gonna change our text. So I would do tagline here. Again, what kind of virtual assistant are you? Who are you serving? So I like these buttons, by the way. Maybe I don't necessarily want somebody to click out of my website if they're just getting to my website. So let's delete this button. You'll see right here, we've got 
uh, back on the editor, we've got either a duplication tool where we can make a copy of this button or we can delete it. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that one away. Now you'll see a line right here that says hashtag intro. You don't necessarily want to change these breaks. Break indicates a second page. So now theoretically that we're on a second page, we can do something like services. Um, we can have a little text about what services you are providing for people. If you want to change these little icons, you can do that. You can add, you can, you can upload a completely different image. You can, oh, I'm going to show you this later. You can, uh, if you like what they've already preset for you, you can change the shape. Uh, you can change the color to see what that looks like. So that gives you a little bit of, of an idea of how these things change in the moment as you're editing them. Uh, you can add a drop shadow. Okay, so things that you may or may not want to do, but the nice thing about card is again, it's a simple free tool and it really helps you make this template a little more unique to you. Um, padding is just how much room, extra room is around, as you see these are moving, how much room is around some of these icons and text so you can play with the field, how wide do you want your website to be, how narrow, the size, all that good stuff. Last few things I want to show you, if you scroll all the way down you can click on icons for social media, the editor on the left hand side will pop back up and we can either get rid of um, certain accounts that you don't have or don't want to share, you can add accounts. There are hundreds of options of things that you can add. Um, so it's not just websites, but it's also um, buttons. So if you want to make things a little more, there you go. If you want to just add different icons throughout your page, um, there are tons of options that are preloaded for you within card as well. The last thing that I want to say about card is this bar. I know we haven't really touched this bar at all. I don't use this too often, but I'll show you what some of these icons do. Um, we'll start with the undo button. So I've just added this little symbol and then I discover that I don't actually like it. A simple undo keeps undoing the option. So instead of a uh, control Z, it's the back option. If you've accidentally deleted something that you want, go forward. This is the redo option. This mobile view right here switches to a mobile phone view so you get a better sense for what people look, what people see when they visit your website on the phone. Here you actually can do some editing right within the phone layout and it will change some of the elements for you. Finally, this little floppy disk icon is how you actually save and publish your site so that it's live and viewable on the interwebs. If you do get too far, by the way, you can always undo everything with this handy little start over button. This is your atomic bomb if you want to drop the bomb and start fresh. And another reason why I really like card is because if you do get stuck or you have a question about something, there's tons of instructions. Um, there's also tons of the documentation, which will really help you too. When you click on this, it brings up a new window and then you can go through the exact uh, thing that you have a question about. And CARD really walks you through this. Um, so if you are stuck, use their resources for sure. I will say that CARD does have a contact us page. So if you ever do run into a problem that you're not finding through their documentation, um, you can actually send them a message through card itself. I've done this a couple times and I will say that they and their team respond to me within, if not minutes, a day, one whole business day. So I've been very happy with their customer service as well. Lastly, if you want to save your project, but you're not quite ready to publish it, don't worry. Click on the disk anyway. When you scroll down, don't be alarmed by this publish. All you're going to do is scroll down. You can either save as an offline draft, which is actually what you want to do. You can save it as a template, but if you're going to save, I recommend just saving it as a draft. So this saves a copy and it won't yet be published. So I hope this video was helpful to you. I want to know if you guys have a site. If you don't have a site, what are you using? Uh, do you like something better than card? Have you ever even heard of card? And if you haven't, I really hope that you seriously consider looking at this for your business because I am all about saving some money as a business owner. And at $19 a year for this pro account, you really can't beat that. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you next week with some more hot tips for your VA business.